Okay, we are going to install JDK and JEdit on your computer. In order to do that, we need to first download JDK and then we're going to download JEdit. Open up your Chrome browser and go to Google and type download JDK from Oracle. Click on the website that would download JDK from oracle.com. Do not select NetBeans, select JDK only and click on it. That will take you to download page. Select the first option, which is development kit. Accept agreement and choose the file for your device. In this case, in this case, we are going to download into Mac. So you double click on the DMG file to download. Go back to Google and type download day edit. Select the first option, which is jedit.org, and click on it. That will take you to installation page. Select, again, the file for your device, in this case, Mac OS. Click on it, and it will start downloading in a few seconds. You need to be patient with both of them. Sometimes they take a little time. Go to your finder and observe the progress once they both are downloaded. First, select JDK DMG file, double click on it. Once you double click on JDK DMG file, a little window with a box will show up. This window right here. It might be a different color, does not matter. Double click on the box and that will open up this window. In this window, you click on continue, then click install. Once it's done, click finish and you are done. At this point, you are not going to open up JDK. In fact, you can't even open up JDK, but we are not going to be able to verify that until we get to terminal. So you're basically done. Don't look for it. It's not in your application folder. Next, go back to your finder and double click on JEdit DMG file. And that will start the process of installing your JEdit. When you click on it, A little window like this will show up. You have to dra drag this JE into this application folder. So grab it and drag it into here. Again, grab it and drag it into here. And that will take care of everything for you. At one point or another, during the installation, it will ask for your password. That's okay, just put your password and let it install for you. However, once you're done with installing JEdit, you will not be able to open up JEdit until you authorize your computer to open this application. So if you go to Launchpad, you will see JE logo, which is for JEdit. If you click on it, is going to say, I don't trust this application and I cannot open it. So what you have to do is go to system preferences. And select privacy, security and privacy. Click on it. I do not have it because mine is already authorized. You need to click on this and enter your password. 
And once you do that, um, click on Open Anyway for JEdit or all the application, doesn't matter. Once you're done and it's taken care of, it's opened, you can go back and lock it at later time. But leave it unlocked until you're able to open up the JEdit. And once you do that, again, once you enter your password and it's all done, if you again, you go to Launchpad and you click on JEdit, it will open for the first time and ask for setting. And this will conclude our download and installation for JDK and JEdit.